Hey there, Spark fans, Rob Reynolds here. Well, like it or not, summer is coming to an end here in the Northern Hemisphere. That means the weather will be changing, the entire world will begin to reek of pumpkin spice, and statistically, we're all gonna be spending a bit more time indoors. Now, you know how we like to have sensors for everything? Well, why not a sensor to sense the quality of the air that we'll all be breathing while we're cooped up inside? Well, we have a sensor for that. In fact, now we have a brand new sensor for that. Introducing the new SparkFun Indoor Air Quality Combo Sensor featuring Sensirion's SCD41 and SEN55. That's right, this board actually contains two sensors, the SCD41 CO2 sensor and the SEN55 particulate matter sensor, both from Sensirion and both powerhouses. The SCD41 CO2 sensor uses a photoacoustic measurement system with Sensirion's PassSense technology and has an integrated temperature and humidity sensor with Sensirion's CMOS Sense technology. It's a low current consumption sensor, drawing about 18 milliamps during normal sensing operation, and much lower than that in low power and single shot modes. The SEN55 sensor is an extremely impressive module, capable of measuring particulate matter in the air, along with temperature, humidity, and VOCs. For particulate matter, its mass concentration range is from 0 to 1,000 micrograms per cubic meter, with particle size readings of PM1.0, PM2.5, PM4, and PM10. And this sensor has an expected lifespan of over 10 years. Its temperature sensor is good from 10 to 50 degrees Celsius. The humidity sensor reads from 0 to 90% relative humidity. And for VOCs, the measurement range is from 0 to 1,000 parts per million, with a sensor output of 0 to 500 VOC index. Its limit of detection is less than 0.05 parts per million of ethanol equivalents, or less than 10% of concentration set point, whichever is larger. Now, of course, I've just scratched the surface as far as specs go for these sensors, but we have a much more comprehensive list on the product page and, of course, links to the data sheets, which have all the info you could want. There are several libraries that you'll need to get this sensor up and running, and those are available over in our GitHub repo, along with a couple of examples. Now, the first example, super straightforward, just spits out readings from both of the two sensors. And one thing to keep in mind is that the particulate matter sensor needs an hour of switch on time. So when you first fire it up, it might not be completely accurate, but once it's burned in, it should be super high quality. So I've had this on for about an hour and a half, so we should be pretty close. So let's see, it will give you a reading of particulate matter every second with a CO2 reading every five seconds. And it looks like CO2, low 400s, that's good. Particulate matter, three and a half, 3.6 parts per million. So yeah, that's good quality air here. Uh, generally for indoor air, anything between 400 and 1,000 parts per million of CO2 is considered acceptable. Ah, that clean Colorado air. AQI, or air quality index, plays a huge role in much of the country for a variety of reasons. Now, here in Colorado, particulate matter is greatly affected by wildfires, and not just within our state, but wildfires from California, from the Pacific Northwest, from the states above us, even from Canada. They all play a role and we've all seen really bad air days here within our state. Now outdoors, it's pretty easy to tell when things get bad. You know, if I'm driving to Sparkfun and I can't see the mountains, I know things are bad. But it's tougher to see that kind of air quality degradation indoors. And that's where a sensor like this can come in handy. You know, if things get bad, do I need to change out the filters in my HVAC system? Do I need a better air purification system in my home? Now, if you're just starting out and just toying with air quality measurements, there are more budget conscious options than this. But if you need a high precision long-term option for air quality monitoring indoors, this is gonna be your choice. The new SparkFun Indoor Air Quality Combo Sensor. Pick yours up over on our website, and by now, you know the drill. Stay safe, be kind, and happy hacking. in our air quality, particularly when it comes to particulate matter. I don't like to say particularly and particulate in the same <laughs> sentence. The name change, combo, wasn't in there until I think late yesterday. Really? Yeah, play a huge role in affecting our particulate matter thing. Here's a good place to stop yeah, and do a screen capture. Is that a good spot? <laughs>